just about to leave the hotel on our, on our way to the airport and then we'll catch a charter flight into the hunting area. So I reckon we'll be there at like 5 this afternoon and then enjoy the night under the African skies and tomorrow we'll start hunting. Yeah, welcome. We're in uh, Dar es Salaam on a uh, charter flight out to the Salu Game Reserve, Al 3 or Tunga Camp. We're gonna have a good time. Okay, cool. That's the plan. Yep. shoot the guns quickly just make sure all the guns are sighted in and uh, after that we'll, we'll split up I think they're gonna go look for buffalo we we'll also look for whatever we can find a big plan is to get bait in a tree because um, we're after leopard so we'll be looking for tracks see if we can get some planes game to start baiting You just That's like a good one. two and a half, high right. two and a half inches just high. Of the circle. Uh, do you want to have another one and see if we get a group? Yeah. Maybe have another one and then we'll make adjustments from there. Okay. Just above the bush. You're this far yeah. apart. Come down an inch maybe, but at to zero at a hundred. I want to backpack to the top of that. <laughs> Uh, where is my target? My backpack. It's uh, on the tree. tree. Yeah, I think they talk of it. You can open the box. It is a heat. Hi. Yeah, you just two inches high. That's to the right, I think. Yeah, I think the same. 
Shit. Set the 400? Yeah. Wow, for All right, babe. <coughs> Good shoot. Me too. Mm. Oh. Let's go get him. Okay. We're ready. We're ready. So cool. Do you have a need? We're looking for buffalo tracks to try and get a bait for a leopard. Um, it looks like some fresh sign is here near a water hole. Um, and JP is showing us how they tell if it was yesterday or today, uh, whether it's a, a lot of buffalo or how many, and showing us the tracks in the, in the mud. The boons and impala mess up a lot of hunts because when they see you they make a lot of noise warns everything else look at them coming out on the tree there yeah to catch them in a water because yeah. then you have you put it to stick and you like get the bath flowing <laughs> So buffalo tracks followed them to a water hole, then into the grass and uh, found some elephant in the way. So we turned around and came back to the car not to disturb the herd of elephant. Uh, we're stopping here for lunch. We found a nice shady spot. We've had several stalks this morning. Uh, didn't produce anything but saw a lot of animals um, for the bait, for the leopard bait. So I know they're here and we'll get some this afternoon. We're also stopping near a, a tree that uh, JP has used in the past for a bait tree. So maybe if we find something close by, we can get a bait in the, in the tree today. And we'll just hope for the best and take a little rest here in the shade. No, that sounds weird. <laughs>
shot. Great shot. Oh, wait, watch that pig. Oh no, he's not that big. No. Oh, harder beast, harder beast. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, the one in front. Take the him. one in front, take him. Great shot. Stop, stop. Sawa, that's done. Yes. Is she down? Buana! <laughs> Yo! What a star! Bravo! Look at this! Hey, Asante! Asante! Sasana! 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 Oh! What did you do? We sweated a bit there! He's still alive. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. If he gets up, because a lot of times you shock their spine, they go down. I hit him in the neck. Yeah. Here, let me reload. Yeah, reload, and if he jumps up, just let him have it. God damn it. One shot. Slappy son. Yeah, he's done. Congrats, Mona. That's a hell of a hot beast and a hell of a wild beast. What a much. start. What a hot. That's right where we're holding. Perfect shot. Mm -hmm. One of the one of the trackers on the back of the truck spotted a uh, small herd of impala. Bon and Jabu decided we were going to go after them uh, because we're looking for bait, leopard bait, uh, for my wife. I think it was I can't I can't remember who spotted uh, some wildebeest in with the impala. So set up a stalk. Um, Jabu got down low, set up the sticks, got the shot off, dropped the bowl. And like five, ten seconds later, this uh, licking sign harder beast walked out. There were a few of them walked out. Double told me that the lead bull was a very good one. I said, take him. He said, take him, squeeze the trigger, and boom. Um, within like 30 seconds, two incredible salute, sal salute trophies. Um, I, I'm speechless. I'm just excited as I can be. So uh, we decided we'd spend uh, part of the afternoon fishing. Here to we're here at a, uh, a pan, spotted some buffalo tracks here earlier today, and uh, Double tells me that there's barbel or catfish in here. So we're going to see if we can uh, provide some dinner for some folks. Yeah, we were hunting yesterday, looking for buffalo. Um, Tim and Jabu got a hartebeest and a wildebeest, so we've got uh, six baits. Three of them already hang yesterday, and uh, today we're looking for buffalo. 
or a bush pig or a nice warthog or impala and then we have three baits on the back here that we're going to hang this afternoon and do some drags for leopard. Okay, we're ready. Let's see what we can find. We're setting a bait in a tree from Tim's wildebeest, I think, from yesterday. Um, so we're going to put it in the tree and start checking to see if a big tam will take it and then make a plan. Drop it a little bit. Okay. One, two, three. Now they're going to start to drag. We hook a pile of guts behind the vehicle and then we start to drag along the road where they found the track. So and then we hope we'll come have a look at it tomorrow. They've covered up the bait with some leaves for the vultures and uh, so that the sun doesn't get on the meat and rot and squeakly. So we'll come have a look tomorrow. Set up a blind if there's a leopard on it. All right, so it's uh, 17th of June. Early in the morning, we're out checking leopard baits. Checking one here, uh, hanging in the tree to see if we get uh, see if we got a hit. Unfortunately, on this one, no uh, no sign of a hit last night. So we're going to keep keep hunting and keep checking baits. We've got three baits hanging, and with any luck at all, one of the three have been hit. That's a very big leopard track. And that look how much he's eaten in one sitting. Snap the bones off. That's a big cat. Yeah, that track. I'm going to bait here yesterday afternoon that's been hit and hit hard by a big male. <clears throat> At least according to the tracks, it's a big male. So we got the, we're checking for tracks and uh, let's see what we got going. But it's, it looks like a great setup because you've got the bait here in this tree. There's a good spot to build a blind across the, uh, across the pan. So you got what they call the bait obstacle blind. Blind over there, obstacle here, bait there. Looking good. of the second day this is the last of three baits they are putting up and uh, then we'll be heading back to camp we still have like a three hour drive back to camp and then tomorrow we'll check on these baits and when we get back to camp we will know if Tim the baits they put up yesterday got a eat on so we'll see what happens tomorrow We spotted some uh, 
some fresh droppings back about 100 meters. Trackers went for the gun bears went forward. They can they could hear the buffaloes. They're close, so we're gonna see what we can find out. Oh, no, that is a beautiful buffalo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, good snipe. <laughs> That's the we excitement like, about the bull, about the hoods. <laughs> we were kind of right there in the middle of that crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is a beast, <laughs> one, huh? That is a beast of a buffalo. All I did was pull the trigger, man. Wanna, well, you've done a lot more than that. You're the reason we all here. <laughs> really. Wow. Mm. Wow. Well, here we are, third morning with a beautiful, beautiful buffalo bull. We uh, came down to the spot to check some leopard bait. We'll check a leopard bait and uh, hadn't been hit. So we decided to walk into these two water holes and give them a check during the heat of the day. Yabo was, I don't know, five, six meters ahead of me. And I saw him squat down, raise his binos and then motion forward. He had the sticks, he threw open the sticks. Barack, who was to my left, handed me my rifle. So I got up on the sticks and saw this bull face like straight to us. Uh, Buena Tim put in a phenomenal frontal shot, absolutely textbook perfect. He ran about 30, 40 yards and down he went. And uh, we got, not that you hunt for the tape measure, but we got a very pleasant surprise on this bull. He uh, pushes the tape to just over 44. The, the shot felt really, really good. Um, ball didn't go far. A few seconds passed, I don't know how long. Could have been 30 seconds, could have been five years. And then we heard the death bell. And it was a very, very welcome sign. I'm honored, I'm blessed, and incredibly thankful to the entire team that, uh, that made all this happen. First bait that was hit. You can see the bait is not hanging anymore. The leopard put it on top of the tree. 
we ate a lot of it. The guys are just looking for the tracks to, to determine the size and then we'll decide if we're going to sit there ready to build a blind for us. So we'll see what happens. Leaves over here on the meat. Yeah, and then you, leaves over here. You just... Now, when he's like that, I have no shot. Exactly. Okay. So there the cat is standing and okay. you can see the front leg going right. up and there's his whole shoulder. Right. So you can take the middle of the cat there uh -huh. and come up just there. Okay. That's your spot. You pick one of those spots okay. there. Okay. That's why I say if you're a little bit, maybe it's going to catch some lung still. Okay. And if you're a little bit full, it goes straight through both shoulders. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> I know we can shoot. Jan just shot her first Tanzanian animal, a zebra, at about 100 meters off the sticks. Are you going to do a flat skin? Flat, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do yeah. Can you look at this? Look at this. And everyone is different. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Look at your two dots. We've been driving around this morning looking for a buffalo and we were coming here to come and hang a leopard bait and stopped the truck way back and started a walk into this water hole here and just as we arrived some zebra arrived as well and four of them came in and uh, Jan made a fantastic shot of the sticks with the 400 and dropped this beautiful stallion. Very good shot and uh, good hunt. It was a great hunt. And I finally was able to put an animal down on the ground and he's beautiful. And he'll be in our home as soon as we can get him there. Well, here we are. Uh, fourth morning of the safari, We've had a great start to the safari, uh, interesting couple days, lots going on, so how have you found the days, Bueno? Alrighty, so um, what we're going to do right now, we're going to uh, check some baits, hang some baits, and uh, go to a uh, different area of the concession that's supposed to be good for zebra, impala, warthog, whatnot, we'll see what the bush provides, and um, we are, uh, like uh, Yevel said, we are off. <laughs> we are off to a great start. We've uh, three fantastic trophies in the truck, in the salt, and um, Jan had a uh, Jan had a leopard come in this morning. So I think her chances of uh, taking the nice cats are really, really good. We're off. Uh, so we're off. We're gonna find out what the bush provides. Right. 
up, but it's a big, big. So if you have a shot, take it. Always do that warthog as they run as soon as they get to where you can't see them they stop and you get right on top of them before you see them it's a big leopard one very big leopard look how much he's eaten and under <laughs> the noses of the lion Oh, Buana! Buana, that's how it's done! Sit down! Sit down! Whoa, what a shot, Buana! That makes my job very easy when you can do that. Woo! That is a beautiful pig, Buana, and one hell of a shot. Hell of a pig, one. Well done. Thank you very much. Great shooting. <laughs> great, great shooting. Well, here we are, fourth morning, and we got us a hell of a hog. Uh, we quickly jumped off the truck and got the six set up. He was at a bad angle, so one of Tim didn't have a shot, and uh, he started to run off. And then one of Tim pulled off the most phenomenal shot you can imagine. Uh, but close to 200 yards running and he put it right behind the ear and it came out the opposite eye and rolled him <laughs> so yeah we got us a hell of a hog and uh yeah great fifth fourth day Kimia. <laughs> 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 
Look at that. A perfect up the leg, right on the crease. Your crown, man. That's my crown. <laughs> In the middle of that plane. In the middle of that plane. Yeah. Beautiful. Incredible. Beautiful. What a cat. Beast. What a cat. Look at him. <laughs> Got in the tree. One shot on the shoulder. Down. Perfect. Lifelong dream just came through. It is unbelievable. <laughs> day in the blind and this is what happened a lifelong dream came true we took him right at last light Jane made an unbelievable shot the shot of a lifetime right on the shoulder and it dropped like a rock didn't move and this is a trophy I waited a long time this is my third safari and I, I couldn't be more thrilled and thank everybody that was involved because it does take a team effort to put on a safari like this and get such a great animal. So thank you to all. It's a pleasure. More than welcome. I just told Jan a few minutes ago that I would rather be sitting with her, with her here with her leopard than sitting with a 54 inch buffalo that I had shot. I, I'm just beyond words grateful. So, uh, tonight's a pretty special occasion. Uh, so we brought a bottle of uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label Scotch that we decided we would not open, or Jan would not open, until uh, she had her leopard in the salt. And he's in the salt tonight. Um, so tonight we are going to celebrate by opening a very bottle, very special bottle of Scotch whiskey for a very special lady. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, sweetheart. Thank you. Proud of you. Thank you. Pleasure. Awesome. I'm not a Scotch drinker, and that's very nice. Mm. Yep. We are about to bait some hyenas. Jane decided after a leopard, she's going to take hyena as well. We have one on permit, so we have a lot of tracks on this water hole. Maybe tomorrow morning sneak up on them as daylight breaks and then hopefully mom can take a hyena as well. Yep. Uh, we 
we just tied the zebra that Jan shot yesterday to the tree there. There's already a lot of hyena here because that's where the leopard bait was. And uh, then early morning we're going to walk in and try and shoot it off the sticks. Which is quite fun to walk into an active bait with a bunch of hyena lying around. That would be the one. I got it. I got it. That is a dandy. And that shot. Yeah. Another one. Well, I think uh, you have a new name. Coup de Gras. Uh, we were checking some leopard baits this morning and uh, talked to uh, Yabul. Said that. Um, Still wanted uh, wanted an Impala. I think uh, I think one of the trackers or Yabul spotted the uh, uh, spotted a group of three rams. So um, bailed off the uh, bail off the Baki, made a uh, short quick stalk, uh, got the sticks set up, got the crosshairs where I where I thought they were should be, and squeezed the trigger. And uh, very, very pleased that he dropped right where, right where he was standing. spotted some wildebeest that got away from us this morning and uh, this was our second stalk also spotting wildebeest we got off the car and started doing our stalk and then uh, Nick is here spotted some hartebeest coming out of the Miyumbu into the flats and uh, these bulls it's a little group of hartebeest bulls came walking straight towards us started feeding not far from us and uh, set up Jan on this beautiful bull and she made one perfect shot and stone dead. So uh, congratulations and a beautiful Liechtenstein Thank you Hartebeest. So much. Yeah. Thank, you. Welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for your help. Everybody's help.
gun. Well, okay. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. I'll shoot yeah. Not even a year later. And I'm not going to do that. 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 I'm not going to Dug is a word for mud, I think. And um, what they do is roll in the mud to cool themselves off, um, to try and keep the insects off. And as that mud falls off, the hair falls off. So as they get older and older and older, their hair starts falling off and they get bald. Okay, Jan, this afternoon, we went to our camp looking for a buffalo. Yeah. We've been busy for a couple of days. And uh, I've been trying to get up to this river and uh, every time we get bothered by something else and we haven't managed to get up here and we just came had a quick look and uh, we saw this old bull jump out had a run through the river and through the grass yeah. started following him and uh, we just got through the river and there he was standing 30 yards from us um, broadside Nick has got you up on the sticks yeah. He lifted his head a little bit and turned and uh, he made one perfect shot. The bull took off and it wasn't a minute later that we heard the, the bellow. Uh, we came and have a look, we put in a nice insurance shot on him and a fantastic old dagger boy here in the saloon. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Very good shot. Uh, Very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Yes. Nice hunting yes. with you. Yeah, thank you mom for having me here. With oh. you guys, with you and Pops and JP for having yeah. me and showing me the ropes in Tanzania. I've only hunted South Africa and so it's a huge honor to be able to hunt these old bulls in yeah. free roaming areas. And uh, I thought the leopard was exciting but whoa, yeah. <laughs> at, at 40 yards or 30 yards is amazing. So thank you a lot JP. You're more than Appreciate welcome. It. Lovely you hunting with you. Both and of you here and I wouldn't want anybody else with me other than... Thank you, thank you, Mom. No, no, he's, he's there. Oh yes, oh yes. Foam, foam. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, let me get it. Let me get it. No, keep the creature. That's right. I can horse him either. There we go. There we go. How quick is that? Look at that. I'll be darn. I'll be darn. Well done, Mona. <laughs> that was quick. Well done, Mr. Tom. Hey, 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 hey. Right on, right on. Oh, you stupid little bastard. That they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we came up here to this pan. Um, got here about 10 minutes ago or so. <laughs> if that. Ish. And uh, set out our three lines. 
I hadn't even really gotten settled in my chair to start drinking beer. And all of a sudden, uh, bam, nice barbell. Uh -huh. So he will be going back to camp yes. for the uh, for the staff to enjoy. Oh, it depends so how many we get. Been, uh, huh? <laughs> it depends how many we get. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get a fight of the Sinkus. Well, um, boy, I had to wait a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think he hit about 30 seconds after I threw my line out. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This is our sixth fish in half an hour, 20 if that, minutes, yeah. if that. <laughs> so uh, we're doing uh, we're doing right well, I think. <laughs> Hey, 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 Buana! Good morning, good morning. As the dry draws, water dries up. Yeah, yeah look about. Look at the feet. Yeah. <laughs> We're watching a, a camp be built. Um, every year this, this area floods four feet higher than where we are now, and they have to completely redo the entire camp before their clients come in. So we're watching the progression of this. Uh, they've been here four or five days, and they think they're going to be done in another four or five days. So they've been working hard getting everything ready for the clients. And it's a beautiful location, entirely different than the camp we're staying in. Um, and it's just fantastic to see the variety, again, of the saloon. We just come up here this morning. Uh, there's a nice pond um, with a big pot of hippo in it. So we're gonna walk in and see if there's a nice bowl and see what happens. You know, I'm gonna... That's him on the far right. Far right? Far right, I think. They faced away from us just turn. Quite a do me up you. Eventually. We'll come back this afternoon and they ain't going anywhere. No sir. Uh, we thought maybe you're here somewhere. Nice. And we have lunch together. Yes, fantastic idea. We just thought about that. We you just you. thought about that. I like your thinking. So where are we gonna do lunch? Maybe I recommend it to the
saw some impala. It's late afternoon, we're gonna see if we can get on him. There is almost at the back. Okay. But just wait, he's between females. Yes. He just three. moved to the right? Yeah. He's behind. Beautiful. Okay, so this morning we've finally got on an Impala. We've been hunting them for a couple of days, put on a lot of stalks, never seemed to work out. We came to a different area this morning. JP spotted this ram, nice and white, big bell to it, and uh, we decided to take it, and it eventually gave us an opportunity. And mom placed a good shot on him, we tracked him for like 80 yards, and this is the result. We're still gonna look for a wildebeest this morning, and then we still need an hyena, so we'll probably use the wildebeest if we get it for bait. Yes. And uh, maybe Pops gets lucky, he's hunting a hippo today, then we will have enough bait for the hyena. So. Looking forward to the day.
Yeah. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Good spot. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. Mm. Well, I'll be darned. Hey, beautiful. We've had a great day today. We left camp very early uh, to go out hippo hunting. Uh, got close to a couple balls but uh, didn't quite connect, didn't get the shot we were looking for. So we were on our way back to camp and we lucked into this beautiful civet. Um, this part of the Salu has an exceptionally high population of these civet cats and uh, it's a really beautiful trophy. <laughs> we were looking in the distance and he was about 10 yards in the long grass. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> one attempt pulled off a fantastic shot and we have this beautiful, beautiful civet cat trophy. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> well, Anna. Mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you, Bona. Thank you. It's a privilege sharing this with you. Well, thank you. He done. Okay, we can unload. I'm gonna stay loaded just because we're in the thicket here. It's uh, the 26th of June. We're here in the uh, in the Salu, not too far from Lake uh, Atunga. Uh, came in yesterday, found a lot of hippos, but they were they were already in the water. So uh, decided we'd give them another go this morning. Left camp about uh, a little about a quarter after four or so. When we look back here in the thicket, it was just 
just getting light enough to shoot and all I could see was this massive brown animal. So I knelt down and I asked uh, Joe if I should shoot. He said yes. So fired the first shot, cycled the bolt as fast as I could, shot again, and there's a lot of he here. This is a huge, huge, huge animal. I have no idea how big he is, how much he weighs, any of that, but for for sheer emotional intensity, um, this exceeds virtually every hunt I've ever done. It is way too early. <laughs> so we are about to leave camp. We're gonna sneak up on our innovate that JP put out yesterday afternoon. See if mom can shoot one in daylight very early. But it's it's fun. It's really fun. Mom, you ready? It's fun, fun, fun. I'm ready. We're gonna whack a whack a hyena. <laughs> in this morning while we were still waiting for the light to break the hyena came walking past the truck so we could hear him not see him uh, we did walk into the bait but they're not feeding um, so they must have left already so we'll try this afternoon late again and come and sit the twilight just before sunset see if they return to their bait they have been eating so it is active More to the right. Okay. More to the right. Somewhere there. Okay. You want to go on this thing? No. Gotcha. Okay. Shoot it again. Okay. Okay. Impact on him. Leo, me no onna dam na ondoka. No, he's gonna go down. I can see the shot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What a beauty, Ma. Yeah. See, this is the ring that JP is talking about. Oh, okay. Look at that ring. Yeah. Yeah. Good? Oh, look how this tail looks. Oh, neat. It's just got yeah. the hair on the side. Yeah. This is a beautiful... This is actually... A very beautiful flat skin, huh? It is. Well, we've been hunting the Miasa wildebeest for three to four days and uh, has eluded us up until today. Uh, we've stalked them, we've had good good chases, but not, not the right bull for, for me to take. 
Uh, today, everything fell into place, and I have a beautiful trophy. Last morning here in the saloon, and uh, we tried for a hyena on a hippo that dim shot, and uh, yeah, the hyena won. We came in early this morning to come and have a look, and uh, they cleaned up the bait pretty well. They've been busy with it for a couple of nights. Uh, just got a glimpse of our hyena ass disappearing there through the brush, and uh, yeah, we'll try again. Always. Yeah. Just inspecting all the skulls and all the all the skins. It's filling up quite nicely. Two buffalo, two wildebeest, two artebeest, two impala, leopard skull, warthog, big hippo, zebra. In front of us, we have some un unbelievable, uh, unbelievable trophies. The main objective of the safari was a, a leopard for Jan. I'll let her talk about that. Um, I really didn't have much of a list when we uh, when we got here. I did want to get a buffalo and we, we definitely got a buffalo. To my, to my right is an incredibly big uh, buffalo for any area, but to take a free-range buffalo in the saloon of that size is just absolutely, absolutely extraordinary. The uh, probably for me anyway, the, I think the most memorable part, the um, the most heart-stopping experience was the hippo that's uh, sitting here in the center. We wound up taking this bull uh, in the very early hours, uh, just it, just enough daylight to see, and wound up um, shooting him at about 15 yards. So that was an incredibly memorable part of the of the safari for at least for me and for me it was the leopard um, i've been dreaming of a leopard i've been on several safaris none of them produced a, a leopard that we could shoot and um, the stars aligned this time jp and and uh, the the crew were able to set it up just at last light and he fell and that was my release that I had uh, built up over the, the, the months before the hunt, uh, expecting to, to hopefully see a leopard and be able to make a good shot. Many thanks to many people. Uh, I've learned a few words of Swahili. Uh, one, is, one phrase is Asante Sana. Thank you very much. Uh, in Afrikaans, it would be by a donkey. Uh, German, vielen Dank. Uh, French, merci beaucoup, Spanish, muchas gracias, and in English, thank you so much. Well, the Salou Wilderness is certainly Africa's ultimate wilderness area. It's uh, over 55,000 square kilometers of pristine wilderness. Uh, to put that into perspective, uh, Kruger Park is a little over 20,000. So um, it's, it's an incredible wilderness area. Um, it is notoriously difficult for hunting, uh, very uh, challenging with the terrain being so flat and notoriously shifting winds, but uh, that adds to the appeal of the Salou. That, that's what makes it really special when it all comes together and, and you have a, su a super successful safari like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on.